I know, I know. It's been a long time. How's my hair fluffing up already? Oh my God, natural hair. Original. Original. Original Batman. the beats. Check. Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. And I know, I know you ain't gonna say it's been a long time. And I missed you too. I missed you too. <laughs> so I'm just kicking off my first summer video with this clean girl makeup look. And if you wanna see how I got snatched, keep on watching. Of course, if you're not new here, welcome back. And if you are new here, hi. You were meant to find me. Go ahead, subscribe. It's free 99. But thank you guys for clicking on this video and supporting me. And I hope you like this look. Stay tuned. And I have a really, really cool announcement to make about the lip products. So if you want to know, keep watching. <laughs> I really hope that y'all can hear me over the AC because it's loud as hell. Um, I'm going to go straight into my face. So again, I am trying this clean girl makeup which is actually still a lot of makeup, but it's supposed to look like fresh and natural. And we won't be doing any eyeshadow or anything extremely extra. It's gonna be all about skin and brows to me because it always gotta be about brows. So I'm gonna hop right into that. I'm really trying to, I've been really trying to perfect this craft because natural makeup, like, okay, like skin, like BB creams or CC creams, I need more coverage than that. I got a lot, I got a whole muzzle right here. I have hyperpigmentation, I need coverage. So the best way that I've learned to do this look is to color correct first. So, to color correct, I'm using the Lancome Camouflage Corrector. It's a very, very red, red color. I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longer Foundation just to mix in with that because this is a little orange within itself. So, but this is not the all over foundation that I want to use. I'm taking this old MAC concealer brush or flat shadow brush. I'm not sure which one it is. And I'm just mixing those two colors together. And this is going to make my corrector shade. And I'm going to put that all over my muzzle area. And anywhere I need to correct darkness. The hyperpigmentation on my cheeks usually is covered by the foundation, so I don't have to do that part. But. I'm gonna let that sit for just a couple of seconds so it can kind of like stick. I'm taking this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and I'm just putting that in the areas where I know I'm very, I'm very porous, where you can like see the pores. I'm not huge on primer, but I've been using this one recently and I feel like it actually really does make a difference in how my makeup looks in my oily areas. I'm combination skin if y'all didn't know. So this part of my face, the T-zone, gets extremely, extremely shiny. Extremely oily, especially with makeup. So, I'm just gonna prep with that. Honestly, I should have put that on before the color correct, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> okay, so once that's been sitting for a second, I'm gonna take a. This is not a beauty blender, it just looks like it. Blender sponge. I don't even know why I got this. I got so many of them. And I'm gonna just blend that out. I look real crazy right now, but it's gonna come together. Trust me, trust the process. But before layering my foundation over that, I want to set the color corrector because what I found is when I don't set. Um, it kind of just blends in with my foundation and makes my foundation like extremely red. So I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. 
and I'm just taking some of that on a brush and I'm going to set the color correcting areas. And if you have extremely oily skin, like if you're all over oily, you can actually take the setting powder and just kind of put it everywhere before you do your foundation and stuff. It's really good at helping you control the oil throughout the day. So I'm just gonna put a little bit over here because I get really oily, especially in like, I don't know what my skin is. Like one day it's dry, one day it's oily, one day it's combination. It's just all over the place. It really just depends on the time of the month. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in foundation. I'm using the NARS Soft Matte. This is in the color Menus, and I actually mixed that with Marquise's. Do y'all see this bottle? My last two NARS foundations did this. Like they just explode. I'm like, it's not like it's overly hot in my house. I don't know, but it just keeps happening. So Menus is like perfect, but once it oxidizes, it gets a little dark. So I like to mix some Marquises with it because it's a little lighter. Ooh, a little light. I'm just gonna mix those two. It's a lot of foundation. I definitely did more than I needed. And I'm just gonna dot that over the color corrected areas first. And then whatever's left over, I'll put everywhere else. And now I'm gonna take that same beauty blender, not going on the side that I use the color corrector on, but like the side part, the flat part, grab whatever's left over on the foundation. And then start blending it in. I don't really like to focus too much on my foundation underneath my eye because that part is going to be concealed anyway. So just to not like, you know, put too much product under the eye. Like I'm sure some gets under the... <laughs> I'm sure some gets under there, but I just don't like to focus the product right there, if that makes sense. You know who I've been like really obsessed with watching lately? I am Shelly. I freaking love her. And she does like the best soft matte or soft matte, soft glam, clean girl type of makeup. And she's like gorgeous. So I'll be watching her shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm still really trying to do like my own version of like clean girl makeup. It's not like I'm really crazy into eyeshadows anyway, so this would be the perfect look. Once that's all set like that, I'm going to start concealing. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the concealing step. And I have two concealing steps. I'm using two concealers. So the first one I'm using is the Radiant Creamy NARS. This is in the color Amand. Amande. I'm using that one. So this is like my first one and then I'm gonna go in with another one to like really brighten. Drag that one down my nose. If you want a real one then you got a real highlight that area, highlight this area. This area and then one, two, three. Because I like my jawline to pop. <laughs> I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit and let it like get really tacky and you get more coverage, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know that. While I'm waiting for that, I'm a cream contour with Fenty Stick and Espresso. There, there. And then on the jawline, because y'all know we're always trying to get rid of the dumb chin. 
We always trying to get one in a double chain. <laughs> what is this? This is a real techniques. Technique. I can't freaking talk today. Real techniques. Expert face brush. This is my favorite brush to use for my contour. Cause it's dense, but it's fluffy, so it gives you the coverage. And it doesn't take the product away, but it blends it out really, really good. I'm just blending that out. I don't have much of a forehead, but <laughs> I be getting rid of like the little forehead that I have. But it's all cool. I just like my look to be, you know, uniform, everything. Put bronzer there, make sure you put in here, you know? trying to like reimagine my filming setup because I don't like it. So this is my temporary setup in my dining room. My filming room is a whole mess right now. So y'all ain't gonna be in there no time soon. It has been sitting for a good amount of time. Ew, it's like makeup in my edges, whatever. I'm gonna take the clean side of the beauty blender. We're literally using like all sides of this thing and just start Blending that concealer out. Okay, y'all got it. I love this concealer. It's so creamy and it blends out great, but sometimes I feel like it's just too creamy. I like a, a thicker consistency. Like I'm always gonna use the Too Faced concealers. Like I'm never gonna not use those. But this one is good for like a nice natural finish. If that's what you want to. So for the under eye, I'm going in with this smaller sponge because it's really precise and I can really, really get like in the crevices. I've been doing my makeup like this for at least a month now. And it's so hard for me to switch up like my makeup, um, what do you call it? My technique, because you get so comfortable with it. But you know, I wanna grow. I wanna grow in how I do my makeup. Okay, that's not our final concealer step because I really like a dramatic, bright under eye. I don't care how natural the face is. I don't care. <laughs> so before we go into our next highlighter step, I'm going to actually cream. Is it, I'm gonna cream blush. You're gonna cream. I'm gonna cream blush. <laughs> I'm gonna use a cream blush, the Rare Beauty in the color Joy, and this is very pigmented, but. I'm comfortable using a lot. I'm not a blessed girl, but I really, really, really fell in love with this. And this is like a Sephora foundation brush, but it works great in helping me blend out this cream blush. I keep wanting to say cream contour. <laughs> so I'm keeping that like really high up on the cheeks, almost like right underneath the eye, because that's the new cream blush trend or whatever on TikTok. <laughs> I've been making TikToks. I've been really, really, really trying to make TikToks because it is so funny and I'm so goofy in real life. And I feel like on my social medias, like Facebook and Instagram, I can't really be goofy or like even on YouTube. I can be goofy on YouTube, but I can do like really funny skits on TikTok. And I love that. That is like my kind of thing. Initially, I thought this would be like way too light for my skin tone. Like I needed something darker, but this one is, it's like a baby doll pink. I like it. Okay. Right? right? So now for our final concealer, we're gonna go in with the handy dandy. So dirty. <laughs> Too Faced Born This Way. 
and mocha. And this is going to give me that brightness that I love. I love looking bright. So, do a little bit down there as well because we're extra. So, while that's kind of like drying down, I'm going to work on my brows. I have the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Okay, get some of that on a brow brush. And I'm just going to brush my hairs upwards. My eyebrows are wet. They don't grow evenly. But that's okay, that's what makeup is for. <laughs> and I am just brushing these babies into place as best as I can because my eyebrows are just, they do what they want to do. And I honestly can't say if this product helps them stay in place. I don't really have an issue with my eyebrows staying in place, but I mean, I don't know. I guess it does. I don't know. Does it? Okay, so this concealer is probably ready to be blended out. So I'm going to start on the nose one and I'm just lightly pressing it because I really want my concealer to be the highlight for my nose. And I really like to be highlighted in this area here. I like to look like it's a light just here at all times on my face. So take that concealer up onto the side of your nose to really give that snatch like you don't need to breathe. We just need to exist. We don't need to break. And that's going to help with that snatch contour look, girl. And again, when you need to blend out, go back to that beauty blender with the foundation on it. That's really gonna be like your best friend when it comes to blending everything out. I just love the way that blush is looking like that. I, I don't know how I was living without blush before. Okay, now to set everything, I'm going in with, of course, Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. I'm going to use the, this is actually a Morphe blender, by the way, BTW. And I'm going to use the flat side. So I grab some powder, and you can see it's, it's way too much powder. Dip off the extra. Only take what you need. And then I'm going to set my under eye area. Okay. Just like that, and then I'm gonna take that and make sure I'm going on the sides of my nose. Because again, that's gonna help you with that contour. Set the forehead. Oh my god, okay.
Okay, I'm just taking a brush and just really not wiping but pressing that powder in. Again, really good trick if you're really oily. Do not, um, what's the word for it? Don't wipe. Hat. To tone down the powder, I have my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the color Coffee or 65. So anywhere that powder looks too light, we'll just use it like where you set this area. We're going to put it there. And also I'm going to set everything else. That cream blush. I'm going to set the contour. I like to set my contour because it won't skip when you're putting powder over it. Just making sure everything is nicely blended out. Okay. Now, before we move on, I'm going to work on my brows. Shit, I forgot the brow stuff. And for brows, of course, Anastasia Dip Brow. This is in the color Ebony. And you're just going to, I'm going to attempt to not go overboard. E. <laughs> And instead of drawing them like I usually do, I'm going to do strokes. Different strokes for different folks. Or for different brows. And we're going to clean them up. Don't worry. Don't be alarmed. My eyebrows are so wonky right now. I don't really know what shape they trying to be. I just be trying to work with them. You know, I don't want to force them to do what they don't want to do. So I've been really trying to like, listen. I've been trying to listen to my eyebrows. Like tell, tell me what you want. What do you want? And then I'm also trying to like practice going outwards on my brow and not down because that like drags your face down. We want to look lifted and young at all times. Okay, I don't know what that was. I'm like. <laughs> just gonna lightly brush it because I don't want to disturb the product too much. And then to clean that up, I'm gonna go in with the Radiant Creamy Concealer and clean up the under brow area. It's a little trick I like to do is to take some of the concealer and press it into the front of the brow. Just kind of helps with like the fading effect and the, the natural look of the brow as well. I'm gonna take a little blending brush just to blend out the concealer down here. Okay, so my brows definitely don't look alike. They're supposed to be sisters, not twins, but they're not supposed to be distant cousins either. Brows are set, now we're gonna contour. I'm using the Fenty foundation powder. I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter powder as a contour. This is the color 460. Yeah, 460. And I'm going to contour with this. I'm just taking an angled brush. Not really contour, but bronze. I'm gonna do some bronzing. You know, we love the bronze. You know, we love the bronze over here. Okay, 
And I love using a foundation powder to bronze versus an actual bronzer because it just, I don't know, it just looks so much more natural. I feel like when I use actual bronzers, they're either too dark, too muddy, too red. They just don't be working with me. I like a lot of bronzer. I like to look like I literally took a trip to the sun. <laughs> I do. What can I say I do? So just to like really brighten up my under eye, you know, you may think it doesn't care. But what you think don't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder uh, in the color medium or number two. And this is like my last highlight step. But I like to focus it right there. Just right in the center. It's like the best finishing powder. And this is the one that I, I actually put this in my purse so I can, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? So I can touch up throughout the day. Same Fenty powder and a little fluffy, um, this is actually a fluffy shadow brush. I like to focus most of the color up into the brow bone. I don't know, is that the bone? <laughs> the brow area, because it really helps your brows like blend in with everything. <laughs> And you can actually take that powder and bring it into a crease, just a very, very light flush of that, just so your creases aren't bare. And it really ties the whole look into Gelpo. Just like that. So now I'm gonna do some blush and I'm using the Safarian Blush Volume 2 by Julia's Place. Taking my same bronzer brush and I'm gonna go in with towel, which I don't really know what color that is. It's kind of orange, but kind of pink. Is it coral? I don't know, you tell me. But it's like my favorite blush to put on top of that rare beauty. And it just looks so pretty and summery and oh my god. I just love it. I love it so much. <laughs> now I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe setting spray and I'm scared because I got natural hair today. Let's do one side first. I'm gonna do one side and then do the other side. <laughs> this is dramatic. Okay. Whoa. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some tissue and kind of take off any foundation that was on my lips. I hate when there's makeup in my hair. Okay, and for lips, I will be using this lip liner, which is my favorite lip liner. First of all, this used to be this big, okay? So <laughs> that's how much I use this liner. I love this. When I tell you, I can never find a brown liner that's not, same with contour, like it's not too red or so dark it looks muddy or like it don't show up on my lips at all this is the perfect liner and it's in the color coco or cocoa by mickey styles beauty i've been waiting so long to like <laughs> tell y'all about this i've been using it forever like anytime you see me do my makeup in the last like six months or so i was using this but i couldn't speak about it because it wasn't out yet but she just launched, she's my cousin and I love her. So guys, she's selling lip kits. I can't find the um, the lipstick, the liquid lipstick that she has, but this 
lip pencil and her clear gloss. It's in the color clear. Period, boo. Period, boo. Let me show you. Let me show you. And it glides on. Look at that. Is that not, do you see? That's not, it's the best brown liner I've ever used. But yeah, she has lip kits. She's a makeup artist. She's been doing this for forever. She's the reason that I love makeup starting at the age of 12. So she's been doing this. She's been working on a lot of projects and she's just, she knows what she's doing. Okay. So check out her lip kits. I'm going to link the website below. I think she has a sale going on right now because she just launched. <laughs> I was just so excited for her, but I'll link that down below. And as a lipstick, I'm going to use the Soft Matte Lip Cream Athens by NYX. Just to add a little color. A little nudish color. This brown, this brown liner goes with everything. I literally don't use nothing else. Like... <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's so, so, so good. And then I'm going to top that off with her clear gloss. And everything is so luxurious. Like, oh, I don't know who likes lip gloss porn, but. <laughs> Guilty. It smells good. So, oh, I am going to. I should be. You know what? I'm gonna use a lip brush because I am just messing. It's a clear gloss. You can't mess up the wand like that, Jasmine. So I'm gonna go in here with a lip brush. Ha! And that actually got a lot of color. And I'm just gonna focus this right in the middle. My lips look wet, okay? Like. <laughs> Period. <laughs> this is the most luxe clear gloss you will ever get in your life. Like, don't sleep. Do not sleep. Don't sleep on these products, y'all. Just don't do it to yourself. That completes my clean girl makeup. I don't know if it's so clean because it's a lot of makeup. But that completes the look. I hope y'all like it. It took me a long time to get this right. <laughs> But yes, again, shout out to Mickey V Styles, lip kits on point, and shout out to I Am Shelly because I love her and she really, really, really inspired me to try my version of this look today. And again, I'll link Mickey Styles' website below and I'll also link Shelly's YouTube page so you guys can check them out. If you do your own recreation of my look, tag me. I love y'all so much. I have to go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.